Guantanamo's Child is ultimately the story of Omar Khadr, who was a 15-year-old Canadian who was shot and captured in Afghanistan and held for almost half his life in U.S. custody, most of the time spent in Guantanamo Bay. Uh, it's also a story, though, that really touches on everything that changed after 9-11. And the film includes, of course, the first interview with Omar Khadr, but we have many other characters who are speaking for the first time, uh, special forces soldiers, interrogators, many people who are impacted by his story. It's been a long journey. Um, the most surprising thing I think uh, I found was uh, the kindness that I've uh, seen in people. Uh, I was scared uh, when I was coming from Toronto from uh, people in Alberta being a conservative uh, <laughs> in the province. But when I came here, I saw the welcome was so warm. I think that is one of the biggest surprises I found. People have been super kind and welcoming. Right. Well, what we found when we started filming was that so many of the characters changed for good or for bad once they met Omar Khadr and were involved in his case. So we have one interrogator who's, who's fascinating, uh, who suffers today uh, because he was sent as a 22-year-old to Bagram. He did some horrendous things during interrogations, but he said when he saw Omar Khadr in custody, when he was grievously wounded and being interrogated as a 15-year-old, it was the first time he started to question his mission and why he was there. There's others in the film, of course, the soldiers who were involved in the fight that day, whose lives changed forever. Um, the, the widow, Tabitha Spear, whose husband, Christopher Spear, was killed. Many people's lives changed because of this case. To forgive or to go or to uh, pass something, you have to be hurt by it. Um, I didn't allow pain to resonate with me. I tried to deal with it instantaneously and uh, not let it stay with me. And uh, I stopped uh, putting faith in specific things. I just uh, looked at general things and uh, one of those things is the goodness in people. And even if I was hurt by a particular person, I knew that there's good behind that pain. I've watched him over the years literally grow up when he was in Guantanamo Bay, but the Pentagon didn't allow any interviews. And then once he came to Canada, we had to fight for two and a half years to get access to him because the Canadian government stopped us from doing interviews. So I focused on um, the positive things in, in life. Uh, you can get lost um, in the darkness, but uh, the smallest flicker is what you should uh, notice in these dark times. So I could see a lot of uh, small good things, and I think those were the things that I tried to focus on. I mean, you don't have to support him, and our film isn't intended as an activist film to make you see Omar Khadr as a victim. It's, it's to put the facts out there and, and let you judge for yourself, but to have an intelligent debate about the case and not be guided simply by fear and rhetoric. Things happen for a reason.